And as you can see, I'm not in the same uh, usual place, but I'm actually I actually moved upstairs. I usually I've been filming down in the basement where I keep uh, a lot of my stuff, but uh, this spot here is where I actually do most of my painting. Um, so let's uh, take a little look look uh, how it uh, how it's set up. So this is the spot where I'm uh, usually sitting, uh, either uh, when like gaming on my computer computer or watching movies and uh, right now I actually started uh, building the night uh, night titan so I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the May painting challenge I think um, uh, down here to the left I have my rule books so horse heresy books and stuff like that so I can look at rules while I'm sitting here and uh, look up some uh, color uh, pictures of miniatures I'm gonna do. Uh, this spot here is actually where my wife sits. So when I'm painting, we can actually well, she most of the time she sits there by her computer doing stuff, and I'm sitting here painting. So that's nice. We don't have to like not see each other for several hours. Over there, I have my painting station. So when I'm painting here by the computer, I bring the paints I need and then a cup of water and some brushes and I'm all ready to go and if we slide over this uh, way a little bit we can we can uh, skip that cabinet for now um, back here is actually where my daughter sits when she's uh, drawing so you can see she's got her little stuff out she's the one that uh, did my superhero costume and some other nice stuff a little sofa where our <laughs> dogs seem to have settled in for the night uh, black and white one or black and silver is actually called the pug from uh, the magician books after the magician books and uh, the white one we had the, the black one for almost four years now since he was a pup and the white one is kind of a rescue dog that we took in a few months ago so yeah they are both male and, and uh, the same age so they, the white one has been settling in and uh, around now they actually started playing with each other and doing the fun stuff. So this is uh, this is my display cabinet. Uh, I can see my sisters has been relegated to the <laughs> on top of it. I was using the flyer base, so that's why it's sitting there. And the top shelf is like dedicated to nothing in particular. These are the ships we used uh, this weekend for playing Battlefleet Gothic great fun um, I did uh, did paint up that green one and the big uh, like black and silver one there and the two cruises by the side of it so just a quick and dirty paint job to have them on the table with something on it but they look, they look uh, real nice just uh, with a couple of hours uh, working some cowboys or Mexicans for when you play that uh, game. Down here is the heresy or the Great Crusade modes I used uh, the start of the campaign we did, like in 2011. Uh, so that's my Sons of Horse and things like that. Down at the bottom, I actually have uh, my Krieg models that I painted for last year's uh, painting challenge. And, uh, yeah, if I do. Like this, we can actually take a closer look. So yeah, that's the Jasterians and Abaddon that I started painting in my cabin for the first week, repainting. That's the Spartan. It's actually had its, uh, uh, yeah, it's pretty much done now. I, I did the uh, dull coat uh, spray on it and added the, the, some symbols and stuff. And that's my Apotecra that we've seen me paint. Uh, that's my Centurion and my Champion. I also been do, done this week or oh, this challenge. These are my uh, uh, sniper squad that you see seen. Those were done for week two, and behind them I actually finished uh, the veterans as well. So that's good. So I actually hit my target for so far. Uh, behind that there's uh, yeah a rhino that I made up for. Yeah, I did that last week as well, so it hasn't had any washers or things like that, but it, it's got the, the paints uh, of the colors blocked in. And the uh, tactical score that usually 
uses it uh, as a ride. So uh, yeah, so far I've been uh, doing what I'm supposed to do in the painting challenge, and uh, actually my goal for the the first goal I set was a bit high, so I settled in for the second week to try and do one unit uh, each uh, week. And as you can see, I actually done yeah, I done. Uh, Two whole units. Uh, I've done the Spartan and I done some characters as well. So I'm pretty pleased so far. I would say I hit the mark so far. Uh, the gaming weekend was uh, great, and I'm gonna try to. I'll probably do a separate update for that uh, because there's a lot of pictures, and I'm waiting for my friends who actually had a real, uh, real camera to uh, put up his uh, pictures, and I will can do an update from all the game we did. So we played. Pretty much everything from uh, Battlefleet Gothic on the first uh, day to uh, Zone Mortalis, uh, which is like a smaller, um, smaller size game where you, what that you play like indoors. Uh, the game we played was actually a boarding mission, so it was continuing on from the Battlefleet uh, Gothic uh, uh, thing and just kept going, so to speak. Um, that uh, great together and then we continue on with some role playing game as well uh, that uh, took place on the ship that got boarded so I had like three scenarios that were totally linked together which which was pretty awesome and then uh, we played uh, some strike force which is like smaller games of so skirmish and we also played like regular 40k games a couple of those and we ended up on a big uh, campaign finale uh, so we'd been doing East one uh, five uh, and we ended that with a duel between Ferris Manus and uh, um, Fulgrim so yeah it was uh, really spectacular and ended it in a perfect way with uh, Fulgrim lopping the head of Ferris Manus just in the stories so yeah, uh, yeah rambling on here so let's uh, answer today's question and uh, I will do a separate update for the gaming later on so I'm gonna try and answer a lot of questions in, uh, in my next video, but uh, for now I'm just gonna answer the day 25 uh, question, which is, I actually have it on the screen here. Uh, if you could vacation for a week anywhere in the world, where would it be? That's quite a good question, I'm not really sure how to answer that. Um, I haven't been on to too many places. Uh, I've been to the US and like the the neighboring countries like Norway and Finland and uh, yeah Denmark. So uh, there's a couple of places that I want to go. And that, that's uh, Iceland and Egypt to actually like see the the old pyramids and stuff. And a lot of places in uh, Europe as well. Uh, so I'm not sure. A week? That's not too long. Maybe Iceland. Um, I think you can fit in uh, the things you want to do there in a week. Uh, if I'm gonna go to Egypt, uh, I would probably like to have some more time. So yeah. That's it. Or why not uh, spend a week on the uh, space station? If you can count that uh, as part of the world, I guess. So yeah. Space Station, if you could do that, or Iceland otherwise. That's my answer. So, uh, I've been following along with your uh, videos. Uh, I'm gonna need to try and catch up a bit, but uh, you're doing some great work, and and uh, just want to wish good luck to everybody, and good work for, like, uh, pushing on into the week uh, three as well. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, the update for day 26, and hopefully really soon with... A uh, separate update for the campaign game games we've been doing. So yeah, I'll see you later. Bye